Are you atheistic? And if not, what religion do you believe? Or do you enjoy video games? If so, what do you think about Gamagate and Not Your Shield? Okay, so let's start with the question about atheism. I am in fact an atheist. Uh, haven't always been. Uh, I come from a, a non-religious uh, family, but when I was in my teens, I got curious about Christianity, and I didn't belong to any church group or anything, but I, I did read the Bible and, and explore that for some time, and eventually uh, I think I outgrew it and uh, moved on to explore other various uh, religions and, and things like that. I, I looked into you know, Buddhism and Hinduism, uh, Judaism, uh, Islam, uh, various forms of paganism, um, read numerous books. I, I even went to uh, numerous lectures at uh, the Theosophical Society in Melbourne, which used to be held every Tuesday night and Sunday afternoon. I'm, I'm not sure if they're still doing it. I'm, they probably are. They were a really nice group of people, very open-minded to uh, all different types of beliefs and and things like that. They were just basically there to discuss and explore different opinions. Uh, I remember some of the lectures I went to were on... Um, there was one on the uh, mythology behind Lord of the Rings. Ironically, I think I was one of the few people in the room which had read the mythology, the, the Norse mythology but had not read uh, Lord of the Rings. I think most people were the exact opposite, where they read uh, Lord of the Rings but not, not read the, um, the the myth behind it, or some of the myth it was based upon. Uh, I, I do have the poetic edda in my, um, my library. Interesting stuff, the old uh, Norse myth. I remember another lecture which was done by an Anglican priest, on the Kabbalah. Uh, there was another one on Celtic history. I think the first one I ever went to was on the the Tao. And although I'm not a proponent of Taoism, uh, I, I do think that Tao Te Ching is, a, is still a beautiful book, even though I've become an atheist since then. I mean, most of the, the teachings in it are just common sense. Um, and aren't really spiritual at all. Taoism, uh, though, is is kind of a the religion which has grown up around it is is different yet again. It has more uh, spiritual stuff in it, which has nothing to do with the the Tao Te Ching itself. Uh, I even read Aleister Crowley. Um, not that I'm a proponent of the man. Uh, I think I think he had many faults, but he was an extremely interesting character, and uh, I, I did really appreciate his his sense of humour, and his sarcasm, and um, yes, very very interesting character. It, I think parts of his life story would make a very interesting uh, movie, uh, but eventually I start to outgrow all that stuff as well, and for a long time, I. I guess class myself as somewhat spiritual, but with strong atheist tendencies. I actually describe myself as that, having strong atheist tendencies, uh, for a long time before I uh, I fully embraced atheism and and start to refer to myself as just an atheist. Yeah, you know, at some point I I decided that. Uh, all the spiritual stuff was just nonsense. But I don't regret uh, looking into it and exploring it. I think if you're going to reject something or criticise something, you should at least know uh, what it's about. Yeah, so I, I looked through it and I'm much happier now uh, being an atheist. Now, I know, I know in the past on this channel I've occasionally poked fun at uh, organized religion or new agey type stuff. Enough. 
is also the Frequency Higher Energy Monroe Institute, which, interestingly enough, is Woo Woo Energy. But, you know, in all seriousness, I, I really don't care what religion someone is. I don't care if you're a Christian or a Buddhist or a Muslim or or whatever, uh, you know, New Age, whatever. Uh, just so long as you don't force it down other people's throats. That That's the one thing that really annoys me. Um, I, I do believe there should be a separation between church and state, particularly when it comes to things like education. Any government-funded education should not have any religious aspects to it with maybe the exception of a comparative religion class or something like that but yeah I'm even a bit iffy about that it would, it would have to be set up in the right way so as not to be preachy or promoting a particular religion but when you have um, some Christians trying to force a religion into public school I, I do have a major problem with that and I'm a big criticizer of creationists too because I, I think a lot of them uh, can probably be put in the same basket as a lot of the feminists and the conspiracy theorists they like their fallacious arguments but ultimately if you want to believe in Jesus or Muhammad or Buddha or the flying spaghetti monster or or whatever um, it it really doesn't bother me it just don't expect me to believe the same thing without providing some really uh, good evidence as for gamergate i'm i'm a big supporter i don't class myself as a gamer uh, even though i do own a playstation 3 and a playstation 2 and I've even got a PlayStation 1 packed away somewhere. I haven't touched it in well over a decade. But it's it's pretty rare these days I play a video play video games. I might pull one out maybe once or twice a, a year and and really get stuck into it. And and admittedly I do tend to play games on my iPad while I'm sitting in front of the TV. But I I don't really class that as as uh, being a gamer. Uh, I'm up, not up to date on all the latest games. I don't read the the sites that Sargon and, and other gamer gators are, are criticising. I've never been to those sites, so the the only time I hear about them criticising gamers is when I I see someone like Sargon talking about them. But having said that, I am a big supporter of of uh, Gamergate. I, I think it's a, a very important movement from the point of view of holding uh, the the media are accountable for what they say and and getting ideology out of journalism. I think it's much bigger than just Gamergate, though. I think as a men's rights activist, I I see exactly the same thing all the time in, in online media and uh, not just online media, but you know television and and things like that as well. So I think. Gamergate is extremely important. I think it's it's the issue is bigger than just video games though, and and journalism associated with video games. I think this is just one symptom of a extremely dangerous illness, which has spread throughout parts of the West, or all of the West. As for not your shield. Uh, once again, I'm, I'm a big supporter of that. I despise the argument constantly being made by social justice warriors and, and feminists that your argument doesn't count because you are a straight white male. Basically, my argument is either a good argument or it's a bad argument based on the argument itself, uh, whether I'm white, male, or straight uh, really shouldn't play a factor in it whatsoever I, I am a straight white male but if I decided tomorrow that I was gay and it suddenly wouldn't make my arguments better it suddenly wouldn't justify my arguments either they were good arguments to begin with or they weren't and my sexual orientation just ha has nothing to do with it Unless, of course, there, there are probably some exceptions, like if I was to 
be talking about maybe a gay issue maybe I'd understand it better if, if I was uh, coming at it from a um, the point of view of a, a gay man as opposed from a straight man but with things like video games it, it really makes no difference and um, I, I think it's pretty evident that most gamers are going to be straight because most people in society are straight it's just it's just simple statistics if you look at most groups in society they are made up of mainly straight people because society is mainly straight the only once again the only exception to this would be maybe some gay right groups or gay orientated groups some yeah, gay self-interest groups uh, but any mainstream group would be made up of mainly straight people it's a similar thing with the the race issue they bring up I think it's fairly evident that most gamers are going to be white because most people in the Western world are white. If, on the other hand, you look at somewhere like uh, Korea or Japan, you will find that most gamers are not white, they're Asian, because most of the population is Asian. It's got nothing to do with discrimination, it's got to do with demographics. And gaming tends to attract uh, more males generally it uh, that doesn't mean that it only attracts males or that females aren't welcome but you know just like romance novels tend to have mainly a female readership uh, video games tend to mainly attract males it's something that's changed somewhat over the last you know 20 or 30 years and it's become more more of a a thing for women to to get into gaming and that's fine I, I, I don't see any problem with that although realistically women are more likely to play uh, Candy Crush while sitting on a bus as opposed to I don't know spend 12 hours a day playing uh, World of Warcraft or something like that so but that doesn't mean that women don't do that as well that's not to say that there aren't female gamers doing that though but I mean l let's look at the person who asked this question the true moderate now, there's no picture of the true moderate the true moderate's name doesn't really give anything away the true moderate could be male or female he could be gay she could be a lesbian he or she could be straight he or she could be black he or she could be white or American Indian Eskimo one quarter Norwegian, three quarter Cocker Spaniel. There's really no way to tell uh, what the true moderate is. If I were just to just assume that the true moderate is a straight white male, simply because he, I'm doing he in talking marks here, is asking about Gamergate, then I'm really making assumptions which aren't supported by anything. And I think this is the way it is with with most people online it's unless someone's got a picture of themselves and their name it's really hard to tell what what gender or race they are and it's definitely not an indicator of their sexuality and even if they have got a, a picture and a, and a name you can't be sure that it's actually their picture or their name so you're really making assumptions and I think that's what social justice warriors do they just make assumptions that you know all gamers are straight white males because to them that's the most toxic vile uh, group in in society which speaks volumes about exactly what type of people they are Dinosaurs died out due to gay marriage. Are you serious, Ray? Very serious. Just look at this photoshopped evidence I made an hour ago. Wow. No denying evidence like that, Ray. That is right, Kirk. No rational mind could deny obviously fake manufactured evidence as 100% positive proof. Take that you stinking atheists. And that is why we cannot allow gay marriage.